Hello everyone, this is Christina from Christina's Art Corner. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Timu haul and I have some thoughts and feelings that I'd like to share with you alongside uh, showing you the products that I received and I'll let you in on those towards the end. All right, so this is uh, what my uh, items came in. It was not the orange uh, bag that I was normally receiving. Uh, so I've gone ahead and opened it and I'll just show you the products for now. We'll come back to the bag later. Okay. So the first items that I got which I have filled these up, except for this one, are these little containers that are perfect to hold some pencils, pens, whatever you like. Thought this would be a good idea for if you have some whips that you're working on that you could put the pencils inside close it up put it on top of your book that way you know what pencils you are using and you can keep them tidy as you're working on your coloring pages i wound up getting three of these i'll put the uh, screenshots of the item uh, that doesn't necessarily mean I got the items for the price that you're seeing because you know they change all the time and so does stock but just so that you can see the item and description inside here I have these sparkly gel pens and I'll I've swatched them already. Let me show you. Okay. So all the sparkly goodness that you see is from these pens. All of the sparkles and in between I'll show you what those are too. Okay, so 12. They come in a pack of 12. Again, I'll put the item description here uh, they they're supposed to be 12 but I got nine and you'll understand why I got nine instead of 12 towards the end of the video but they are very shiny and very inexpensive all right so let's put those back in here This next item here is six pens, pretty and colorful, and inside you have this nib, but it is, and I'll put the description up here so you can see, all of these are swatched in between the glitters. So you can see here, they're like the cross between a colored pencil and a crayon. So that's the, so you have an orange, purple, brown, yellow, pink, and green. And then they do come with replacement nibs. And I'm just trying to locate where I put those. I know I put them in a smart place, but not smart enough for me to see. But anyway, yeah, they come with replacement nibs, uh, at least a couple for each. I thought they would just be fun. You know, I've ordered a lot of art-related supplies from Timu, so I'm getting trying to find newer things that I have not ordered from them yet. So that's those. And they fit in there real nice. They're just, you know, fun. They're, they're you know, not going to be 
ones that you probably look to to do full coloring pages but they are fun for something zen doodly or small like this next up we have 24 gel outliner pens it's a pigment ink exceptional exceptional coverage uv resistant heh, resistant waterproof okay and here I have swatched some so that you could see and I'll go ahead and show you some let's do a blue I thought this would be great for those pages where you have an outline on the edge so it's nice and fun I, I don't know if I'm aging myself but uh, I was born in the 70s <laughs> and so I remember these being really popular when I was elementary school middle school so this was kind of fun. I didn't realize when I got them that they would be like this. But yeah, super cool and they come in all different colors. The scent all the centers are silver. But you have 24 of them. I'll do Let me do a green for you. And this is the kind of nib that you get with it. It's a nice little nib. But there's the green. So I thought those would be pretty fun. They do, they do have a pretty strong odor. And that odor does remind me of my childhood. <laughs> uh, let's just do... Actually, I'm wrong. I did, ha I did have to start these. That's why I didn't swatch them all. I did have to. Sorry. I got this order a few days ago. How quickly we forget. Okay. There we go. There is a black. So I thought that would be pretty cool, as I said, for borders, or if you have a page that has writing on it, some like block writing, you could use these. They are, they are fun. You can see them in all of their glory there. Okay, so there's 24 of them. I got this case. And I've put my Neocolor 2s, my Caran d'Ache, Neocolor 2s Neo in there. And so the drawer comes all the way out. And I think I'm going to put something soft, like the uh, in your coloring. Uh, I'm thinking of my Holbeins that have the nice um, mesh in between. I might put that down because you are going to get marks uh, from the wax on there. But you can see what you have through the drawer. So I thought that would be fun. And there's three of them. And as a result of seeing the ones that I have, I was able to go through also and add a few colors. I put in an order from Blick so that I could order some more browns, a couple more pinks, and more of the grays. And I put I had gotten this in a subscription box a while ago, and so I just put the extras that I do have in this here. So I have, have those extras. Sorry, my allergies are getting the best of me with the weather change. So 
So I have that in there. Of course, that probably won't fit once I have the uh, last drawer finished and filled up. But there you have it. So I thought this is a really, really good buy. I like their acrylic boxes. I do change around, not frequently, but the organization of my supplies. And I just thought this was a really good one to be able to see, have it on my desk. It's not very large. You can see my hand. It's about a hand, hand and a half and then less than a hand this way. Oops, forgot to put this back. So yeah, I think this was a good find. So that was that. And then here, I got another box. And this one is less than an eight and a half by 11, because I'll show you a piece of paper. So it's less than an eight and a half by 11. By that, that much in length. And then you'll see in width, all right? But I thought this would also be a, a good thing to put any number of things. You could put markers, uh, you could put washies, you could put pens, gel pens, all the good things. Uh, just so we can see. do a couple like that if you wanted so there you go and then there's definitely room for quite a bit more I'd say I could probably get three levels of these let's try yeah three levels of these markers so I think that will come in handy for whatever I decide that's why I haven't put anything in it yet those will go in a, an acrylic storage I think I showed you all last time I got these got several of them where I have sectioned off uh, glitter pens from neon metallics my 3D or glaze pens, and then my gold, bronze, and silver. And then I have my whites and blacks and clear gel pens, my Stardust. And then here I have my Jelly Roll Metallics, my Pentel Dual Metallic brushes, Ohuhu, glitter markers, and the XSGs. All right. The next thing I got were these pens. They're supposed to be white pens. These I did not open, but we'll open now. How about some scissors? Okay, so they are, okay, it looked like it was, it looked like it was a cap, but clearly not, <laughs> clearly not. Okay, let's try to go over something that I've already done here. Okay, so I wrote hi in there. 
that works good but it's real tiny so I thought that would be good for like dotting because you know when you get a Posca you inevitably get a wonky dot because of the nib that has perfect dotting so yeah you don't have to pump or do anything it's just ready to go so make sure you don't try to pull it off like I did <laughs> in fact I'm gonna put those in with my white markers yeah it looks like we'll see what they will do over a wax let's see if I have a pencil This is a Prismacolor Coley Race. So let's see. All right. Let's give it a try. Yeah, it seems to work okay. Not an issue. Hope you could see the dots. Let's see if I make lines. Yeah, it does really good. I like it. So that was an A. And then if you've been around for any time, you know I like to wear these. These little warmers. And I do that because it's comforting to wear them. Keeps my wrist warm and less chance of getting cramps. But I thought these were really cute. So let's try them out. You've got your little hole for your thumb. And they go this far up on your arm. And I can pull my sweatshirt down. Really cute. So yeah, they look like they're stitched pretty well. They're comfy. I'll wear them for the rest of this haul. I also got a black and gray set. So there you go. Super cute. They're nice. And as we're going into the fall season, super, super great. They are keeping my hand warm already. These would definitely not be summer gloves. <laughs> oh, but yeah, these are fun. And I'm glad I got these. Now, for the time in the video, I'm going to talk about Timu for a minute. I don't know what thumbnail I'm going to put up for this, whether or not I'm going to say, is this my last Timu haul? But I'm just going to say that it is my last Timu haul on YouTube. And I have a few reasons as to why that is the case. Number one is the packaging it's coming in. It's getting less and less sturdy. And I'll tell you why I only had nine out of 12 of those markers I showed you. These. And I think I saved. Okay, this is how they came. You could see that the box was squashed and it was opened. It was busted open at the top, at the bottom, sorry. 
and all the markers had fallen through. And we've got some busted ones. There's no cap, <clears throat> if you look at this one. There's no cap on the end. And some of the caps were missing, but I found them. But there are three of these missing because they obviously went flying out of the bag in transit. Now, Timu did refund me for the damaged packaging and broken pens. So that is a good thing. But still, I wanted 12, not 9. <laughs> Okay, so that's one example. Busted up packaging. I mean, there's no way that these things are gonna stay sturdy in a bag like this. And I've got some styrofoam in there. They did put styrofoam on the three-tiered drawer. The outlining pen packaging also was busted open. If you could see, that was completely open. Now, I think I did count that I had the 24, but it was busted, and you can see here it was busted. And so I let them know, and they did refund me for this. So that, that is a good thing, that they refunded, but still the aggravation of ordering stuff and having it come busted, it's just, it doesn't make the shopping experience pleasant. Having said that, I did collaborate with Timu one time on my channel. The rest of the time I purchased all my supplies with my money. They did ask me to become an ambassador. They saw they saw they saw on my YouTube channel that Everyone was liking my Timu hauls, so they did reach out for an ambassadorship. And I, you know, did some research and considered it, but I'll be honest with you, the only things that I'm really interested in showing you all is something that can work for either stationery or coloring related items, because stationery can bleed into things you can use for coloring, such as if you're doing any uh, collage on a page, something to that effect, that's, that's helpful. Pens, pencils, and things. I will say, like, there's some knockoffs. We all know with Brute Funer, they are named different things through AliExpress, Timu, even Amazon. As far as coloring books, they seem to be knocking off those too. So I'm not happy about that. I don't, I don't like that. I have seen Joanna Basford books on there. They're, they're clear, clearly not, um, her book. Uh, they make it look like it and other items pencil wise. I think I feel like you would get burned on not in every case, not in every case. What I will say is that I have had some really good finds and things that I've uploaded a video where I said that I did a Timu haul and I also had uh, reorders. Now, I'll show you the things that I feel Timu, that I really enjoyed my Timu shopping experience. And that was, or products that I got. This little case is super cute. You lift up the paw, right? And I have these gel pens. And let me tell you, they are some of my faves. They work really well. And they are the neon color. They're a one millimeter. And there's a lot of good payoff with these markers as far as opaqueness. They're thin, which is nice. They fit in the hand nicely. 
They're very bright and colorful. Let me show you a pink. All right, let me show you those up close. There you go. So they are glittery and sparkly. And awesome. I reach for these quite a bit. If I'm on, whoops, there was another one back there. This is an orangey one. Uh, I reach for these a lot, not just because I want to play with this case, <laughs> but because they are really good. I do really like them. Uh, as far as a brand name, it just says neon color, one millimeter. All right, so that is super cute and fun. I do love the little storage boxes. I have quite a few and they do well. Uh, this one, you could even hang this up, I guess. I'm not sure I would um, trust that for too long, but you could hang it up. Other storage that I've gotten is this here, and this sits at the front of my desk. And okay, here we have the front. All right, and I have some washi tapes. I got this from Timu too. You know, these are cute little stationary things. I've got an acrylic paint here. I got this uh, punch, which gives you uh, varying curves on the edges of your paper. Super easy to use. I got that from Timu too. And then you have slide out drawers like this. So I have some uh, stickers, some acrylic pins in here. And then I have some little bookmarker things that I have in here. And I actually haven't filled up the bottom one. So this was a good buy. And I'm very pleased with it. And it sits on my desk. So, and those colors matched, so that was another reason the colors matched. You could see all the pink in my room. There we go. Okay. These have been pretty popular on Color Tube. These are the Guangna markers, and I hauled these, oh, I think it was one of my first hauls, I want to say, my first Timu haul. And it has a brush nib. These are my favorite acrylic markers. I like them more than Posca and any other acrylic marker. The, I have not tried Arteza's latest, so I won't say they're the very best because I have not tried those, but many that I have had and tried through subscription boxes, these are the best. That tip allows you to do like the Disney coloriage, color by numbers, real well. They have, uh, I want to say, gosh, how many? I'll put up on the screen how many you get, but it's quite a few. They have great colors, and I never found that I didn't have a, a good color match except maybe the skin tone, all right? But these are great. And I repurchased these, a whole set. All right. What else can I share with you that I am happy with in my purchase? Okay. These here as storage boxes, they come apart like this. You just snap them together and you can put all kinds of things in them. Right here I have, this is from Carla Magana. This is Mystic Vanilla, it's a wax melt. And I've been storing those in here. And then I just put them away when I am finished. And I'm looking around at any other things. Oh, okay, this book. 
I got this from Timu. This is a uh, thicker paper journal and they have some really cute designs. It's fabric, right? And so I've done some of my swatching you've seen through my videos. I did some Ollie's brand, Walmart felt pens, Crayola signature pencils, the Statler Design Journey 24 set, the Crayola Neons, which I do not recommend. <laughs> and then the uh, 50 Super Tips. Then uh, Shan's 3D Jelly. And then I have some of my metallics here. So these are good books. They also have a pen uh, extender here, a pen where you can put a pen on extender. I'm losing my words this morning. Uh, and then you have this to be able to close it, this band. And I think, I think that about sums it up except for one more set of markers I want to show you. These XSG markers, I reach for these a lot. They're right next to my Uhuhu glitter markers, which I love and I think they need to expand their colors. But let me show you in case you have not seen. I hauled these a while back, but we have gold pink now these are metallic not glitter There you go. So you get great metallic, opaque payoff from these markers. They're really good. I would repurchase these for sure. I haven't had to yet and I've owned them for a few months. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, I've used these on a lot of pages, and they are, if I didn't give you heads up, they are the XSG Metallic Acrylic Pen, and they're a 0.7 millimeter. They are water-based. Shake several times, press the tip down, recap pen after use. And there is your nib. Okay. Okay. All right, so XSG markers, Guana acrylic markers, these, they're journal books, they're great. These little kinds of containers, whether for yourself, a grown kid, or <laughs> one of your own children or grandchildren, they're super cute. <clears throat> My granddaughter comes into my art room and always like, oh, I love the little bunny. <laughs> and she always has to press the handle. <laughs> so that's fun. These little organizer and containers, I will say the glitter pens that I've ever gotten from them have all been good. So if you're looking for inexpensive brands, um, I've had quite a few and not been disappointed. 
uh, I showed you the container that is holding my tape dispenser. The tape dispenser was really cute and uh, there's lots of little organizational things there. These, quite a few of the organizational items. You know, they come in like a light green, white, pink, blues. So they kind of go with most <clears throat> room decor. Um, and I think that big, uh, the warmers that I get have all been, I've only had one that has been an issue, uh, for me. Um, I'm remembering one other thing. Because it's actually in one of these. <laughs> These cute little uh, box sticker sets, again, a stationary item where you get all these little cute little like fairy stickers. Oops, see if you could see that. There you go. So yeah, these are super cute. So I think those are a good purchase if you like that sort of thing. I think they're pretty good with the stationary items. You'd have to find out maybe for, from someone who journals a lot if you wanted to go that route. But again, these come in handy. Normally it's full. I just have some of them out on projects. Okay, so final thoughts. On my YouTube channel, I don't think I'm going to do any more Timu hauls. I know, I know. For those of you who really love watching those, I did a smaller haul this time, just to be honest, because I scrolled and scrolled and scrolled and couldn't find anything more unique than what I've already purchased from them. And I didn't want to purchase just for the sake of purchasing, to be honest. And I don't want to do an ambassadorship where... I'm constantly having to try to find things that are interesting uh, to you all and to myself, of course. I need to be excited about the products. Um, but damaged goods doesn't leave you with a good feeling. And that's that's happened a couple of times here recently. I've also heard from some others that the same has happened. Now... Some people will continue to do Timu hauls and no shade on them because there are, if, if it's in your lane, like you do journaling or, you know, pens, stationery and organizers and maybe even getting you started with some coloring things. If you are on a small budget, it, it can be a very good place to, to start. And a lot of YouTubers have discount codes uh, to go along with them. Uh, I just didn't want to make that the focus of my channel. I would rather uh, get the views for the content that I do for my actual coloring and coloring books and regular hauls. Will I still buy from Timu? Sure. If I have some repurchases, I will definitely do that. Uh, also, by the way, there are some alcohol markers I think that I had uh, gotten this set here. It's the Touch 5. They have here a fine tip and a broad. These are also good. They work really well. They're nice and juicy. They have them in packs of like oranges and reds, greens, yellows, browns, blues, and pinks. And I think the pinks were the ones I couldn't get a hold of. They were sold out. The other thing I want to speak about regarding Timu is because I purchased, because I collabed, once with them. I get, no joke, probably 30 to 50 emails 
from Timu a day. And I don't know about you all, but who's got time for that? <laughs> They're constantly saying, I'm the winner. We've picked you. Here's your new discount, so on and so forth. And it's not that some of them, you know, it's not that they're not legit. You go on the app, you spin the little wheel or uh, open a box of gift and you get 90% off of maybe whatever's in your cart and whatever. And, and those things are enticing. However, I don't want to order just to order. And this last order I did want to try out these uh, glitter markers I thought these would be a lot of fun to try out as a fun item these outliners also and these organizers um, I definitely needed I still have this was my original 40 set of Neo Color 2's and I had a hard time like you know getting them out of there and then they wouldn't go back in the same place anyway this is a better storage for them this here I'll line up what I did get and you know had good payoff on those markers and these warmers and here's one of the empty boxes that I haven't used so yeah Guess what I'm saying is if you haven't bought from Timu yet and you are interested in doing so, I'm not trying to lean you away from it. I'm just trying to explain my own experience. These are my opinions and this is my channel. So I'm going to share with you my experiences. You can look back on my channel. I've had several, several Timu hauls and I've also had some that I didn't actually show on video because... I purchase things for my grandchildren, children, for myself that wasn't art or coloring related. And like I said, that I'm showing you what I can trust. And what I was saying about one of the set of warmers, um, the stitching started to come off on, on one of them. I fixed, I was able to fix it, but you can get that with an Amazon product, let's be honest. So yeah, I think that's it. So if it's something you want to do, do it. Find a, a YouTuber that has a discount code for you, by all means. Um, but as far as me doing more Timu hauls on this channel, I am finito. I am done. Um, so I hope that doesn't disappoint too many of you. You can leave comments below on whatever you think. Um, you know, controversy about Shein, Timu, AliExpress, listen, everybody's going to have their own opinions. I believe if you want something that's inexpensive, maybe get you jump started into a hobby or you're looking for, you know, a product that you don't want to pay a big price for, but you want to try out, they're good for that. As far as all the behind scenes and how things are made, where they're made, all those kinds of things, you need to judge as a consumer what you feel is best for yourself. I have enjoyed my Timu hauls, uh, less the damage to some products. And I think because this last one came with as many issues as I had, I just... I was leaning in this direction as I was reading over the ambassadorship <laughs> and I just thought, you know, I, I just, I want to do more coloring videos. I want to have more time to show you some cool books that I found. I've been shopping on eBay and finding some good deals there uh, on books. Uh, I also want to do color alongs and participate in tags and do my buddy colors. And in order to do that, I need the time to do that. And when you order from places like Timu and you're doing these hauls, um, you know, it takes quite a bit of time to do the editing and do all the things. 
And uh, in order for me to continue to do that, I would have to say that there would have to be a plethora of more items that I could purchase. And for sure there probably are. And they do come up with new products all the time. But for me, I think I've gotten what I wanted or needed out of Timu. I appreciate the collab they did with me and the discount, discount codes they had afforded me. Uh, but as far as presenting this kind of material to you anymore, I'm going to stick with regular hauls. Hauls that are going to come from Amazon Japan, Lyrica, uh, Amazon US, Etsy, eBay, Blick. Those are my main places I shop and a few items from Walmart. So I hope that shores up <laughs> maybe a fuzzy way. I don't know. I don't want to steer anyone away if they want to do it, I guess is what I'm saying. But I'm choosing not to do it anymore because I think it served its purpose. And like I said, for the things, I'm just repeating myself, for the things that I want and I have enjoyed from Timu, I'll be happy to repurchase. And I might throw them in on a regular haul and just say, hey, I got this from Timu, put it to the side, but I'm not gonna do dedicated Timu hauls, okay? Thank you so much for hanging around if you did till this last segment because I did wanna be truthful and honest with my feelings uh, about uh, Timu. Um, I don't uh, bash any company. I certainly don't have a reason currently to bash Timu. They have refunded when I've had broken items. So that's not been an issue. Either I've gotten a credit or they have refunded the card I purchased from uh, or PayPal or however you, you wind up uh, purchasing your items. But uh, for me, this is the last one you'll see. So Go back and see some of my other Timu hauls. If you want to see some of the products I'm mentioning, uh, you can find uh, them there. And uh, it's been a fun ride and I've enjoyed it. Uh, but I think with every YouTube channel, you must grow, find out what you like, dislike, or maybe even on the fence on. And I think it's just this is just one of those things I've kind of grown out of the need to do these Timu hauls and they had been lots of fun. I We had some good laughs on this channel uh, with some of my purchases, especially when I was buying things like bunny cases because <laughs> uh, that's, that's just my personality. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it's been uh, helpful in a way, uh, uh, definitely helpful, not in a way. Uh, so I will see you in the next video, which will be either my gouache eerie page that I'm going to do, or uh, you'll get part two of my haul. And if you're still watching, there may be a part three haul for August as I look at the books uh, that I'm getting from eBay. There may be three parts rather than the two I originally told you. So you will have a good rest of your week. Hopefully I will be posting one more video this week. Uh, so I'll see you then. You all take care. Happy coloring, happy shopping, whatever you choose to do. I hope you enjoy it and do it with happiness. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.